Donald Trump never fails to be controversial, and from his greeting the Queen with a handshake to making friends with Putin, the past year has been no exception. Trump's real weak point seems to be tributes, with the 72-year-old's attempts never failing to cause offense. Last year he complained that he didn't get a thank you after Senator John McCain's state funeral, and he marked the death of Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, by announcing that she had worked for him on many occasions. This week however it was Paris that fell victim to a Donald Trump tribute, following the news that one of France's most famous landmarks, Notre Dame Cathedral, had caught fire. The 850-year-old building is still standing, with the main structure and two bell towers reportedly saved, but its iconic spire and roof has collapsed causing irreparable damage. World leaders flocked in to pay their respects. My heart goes out to Paris, announced Hillary Clinton, while Barack Obama called the landmark one of the world's greatest treasures. Donald Trump however took a different approach, giving some advice. So horrible to watch the massive fire at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, he tweeted. Perhaps flying water tankers could be used to put it out. Must act quickly. Yes. Donald Trump actually gave the firefighters advice, and to say it went down badly would be a huge understatement. Hundreds of firemen of the Paris Fire Brigade are doing everything they can to bring the terrible Notre Dame fire under control, the French civil security and crisis management account later tweeted. All means are being used, except for water bombing aircrafts which, if used, could lead to the collapse of the entire structure of the cathedral. Donald Trump responded, God bless the people of France. Our thoughts are with the people of France. Yeah.